The question today, why has the cost of EpiPens gone through the roof and should you be wearing contacts while you sleep? Fox 5's medical expert, Dr. Shafu, joins us this morning. Doctor, good morning. Good morning, Heather. All right, let's start with immunizations. As we go back to school, a lot of parents um, will be asking the questions, and I know we have a California state law. Uh, what do they need to know um, about the immunizations and which ones are required before they put their kids in school? Sure, Heather. So the big thing right now is to make sure that you check with your family doctor you can check with the health department you can of course go online and check but the important thing is that um, as you said they're mandated by by the school now the thing is and by state law you need to have um, several different vaccinations depending upon your age of your child now I've got six kids at various ages so I need to go each year and take them to their family doctor because the immunization schedule is literally really changed but vaccines that kids had when they were relatively young when they get into middle school and the high school the efficacy of those vaccines have faded. And so there are certain newer vaccines. For example, if you have an 11 or 12 year old child, there is a vaccine against HPV, which is a virus responsible for cervical cancer. There's a Tdap which is the tetanus and diphtheria and whooping cough, meningococcal infection, which is a serious life-threatening uh, CNS infection. And we don't want to forget the flu vaccines. You know, unfortunately, um, we've seen a resurgence in diseases that were eliminated at least 10 or 15 years ago. For example, in, in 2000, um, basically uh, measles was eliminated as a disease. And yet in the first six months of this year, we've already seen 50 cases, whooping cough, the same thing, we've seen about 6,000 cases so far this year. Uh, and, and the reason that is, Heather, is unfortunately people are not getting their kids vaccinated. The problem with not vaccinating your child is obviously it's not just you're, you don't have protection for that child, but if you have siblings that are younger that are too young for vaccination, you put them at risk. Let's not forget the other members in the school that are being put at risk. And also if you have uh, older people in your household, you know, grandparents, people that are ill, they're also put at risk as well. And Dr. Chavu, I know we don't have enough time. There's obviously two sides of that story um, for people who don't believe in the immunization. So uh, we'll have to get into that on another day. Okay. I just wanted people at home to know what they should be looking out for as they do go back to school, especially since California state law says you've got to have those immunizations. Uh, another big topic right now is about EpiPens. They went from about $100 for a packet of two pens to around 600 why this increase? That's a lot of money. It's huge. And unfortunately, Heather, it's affecting those that can least afford it. Uh, the company Mylan actually bought the rights to the EpiPen a few years ago, and they spent literally tens of millions of dollars marketing that product to where it's, it has the same brand awareness now as Kleenex does. Uh, they didn't do any more research and development. In other words, they didn't change the dosing or anything else, the packaging, etc., that could be explaining it. And one of the products that uh, was similar to, um, to the EpiPen actually was taken off the market due to inaccurate dosing. So essentially they had kind of a, of a monopoly. Um, the other unfortunate thing is that the FDA has come out with a ruling that nationally the EpiPen, uh, the actual epinephrine in these various products is not considered therapeutically equivalent. So if a physician writes for an EpiPen, there is another product out there called Adrenoclick, uh, which is equivalent essentially. Um, on a federal level, it can't be substituted. However, 21 states have adopted statewide legislation that allows that to happen. But even the Adrenoclick is about $400. The problem, Heather, is that um, you know, with our changes in our health care plans and policies, uh, the premiums may be low in some of these um, health care plans, but the problem is that some of these services like the EpiPen and some of these other services are just not available and they something that comes out of people's pockets. There are little cards that are available now um, at your doctor's office that provides for a quote zero dollar copay. But mm. again, you need to look at your insurance policy because you still may be out of pocket several yeah. hundred dollars. And it's really unfortunate because a lot of those policies when you're reading through, uh, it's very long. It's a lot of reading that a lot of people don't have time to do. So they just check a box and move on. Is there an alternative for people right now that really don't have that six hundred dollars to pay for this or is there nothing? Well, you know, I did mention the Adrenoclick, which is another uh, mm -hmm. product that's an epinephrine. It's a little bit less expensive, but it's still a few hundred dollars. Right. You know, unfortunately, one in 50 people are, you know, get uh, an anaphylactic reaction. Mm -hmm. So you do need to have that epinephrine. It's a vital link for people that are, have a serious anaphylactic reaction. Okay, so that's the only option. Uh, one last topic I want to touch on before we go. Uh, there was a study that came out talking about contacts while you sleep and how they could even contribute to certain blindnesses uh, and really 
uh, ruin your your site. Is this obviously something that you've been talking about with patients and good idea, bad idea? What should what should they do? Should they always take them out? Yeah, that's a great point, Heather. So the big thing is that 20% of, of, of serious eye infections so of the cornea, the outer layer of the eye, are caused by inappropriate use of contact lenses. So you wanna, even though it says you might be able to sleep in those contact lenses, take them out at nighttime. Make sure the fluid that you're using to wash out those contact lenses is clean. Make sure the case is clean. Don't put tap water in there. Um, and then make sure when you get those contact lenses, you get them from your doctor, your eye doctor. Make sure you're not getting them from a flea market. And um, you wanna make sure that they're, that, you know, they're only used for as long as they're supposed to be used. You don't keep them in longer than you should keep them in. All right, Dr. Shafu, great information. Thanks for always uh, sure. getting up early for us on Fox 5. Have a good day. You too.